Hi, Jazzy Greens, and welcome back again. Today is the Family Traditions and Christmas Tablescape 2021. I have been looking for this so long, guys. I mean, I love doing this uh, collab. It's so much fun just to be able to talk about uh, things of the past, of Christmas traditions. I mean, I just love doing this. This collaboration is hosted by two beautiful ladies, a blessed home with Kimberly Davis and Kenya's Decor Corner. As you can tell by the title, you know what's happening. So I won't say any more, but go ahead and share with you some of my family traditions. Well, you know, I like to always go back and think about my childhood because that was the most fun that we had, you know, with our traditions. I can remember the time where we all lived in my grandmother's big house. She had this real big house, and I mean, it had lots and lots of room, lots of bedrooms, and she had a um, uh, basement. And she would always have me and maybe one of my other cousins to go down in the basement with her to bring all of the Christmas decorations and boxes and things upstairs so that we can start decorating the house, the tree, the outside and everything. And that was such a wonderful experience, but it was scary for me because I hate to say it, but her house had lots of rats and mice and to this day, I am petrified of those things. I really am. Ooh, if I would see a mouse or a rat, I would literally break my neck getting up those stairs, <laughs> you know, away from that. But anyway, it was a lot of fun back then, um, helping her to put the ornaments on the trees. I mean, I miss those days. I cherish those days. I will always cherish it and the memories that I have in that house, um, the good memories, you know, of Christmas. She would give certain jobs to each of us cousins, like one of my little cousins would have um, the job of handling the, um, the ornaments. I may have a job of, I don't know, placing them on the tree at a certain level, you know, certain things like that. But she had those breakable um, ornaments, so we had to really be careful, because once they break, they're shattered, they're gone, you know. But just memories like that, um, there's so many memories from my childhood. I'm not gonna talk about all of them because, you know, we'll be here all day. But that's just one of them that I can think of. I mean, Christmas as a child was just the most beautiful, magical experience for me. Now, when my two children were younger, I used to allow them to help me decorate the tree. This is before I started getting into decorating seriously. So I would give them the ornaments and they would place the ornaments on the tree and it would kind of look a little weird. One thing would be this way, another thing would be the other way. But it was all fun, you know, and I didn't mind that the fact that it did not look picture perfect to me in my eyes, but it was just the fun, just bonding memories that I created for both of them. Now, of course, with them being grown and one has already moved out, uh, Aaron is still with us. Um, and he mentioned to me just recently that, oh, how come you didn't let me decorate the tree? You know, you let me decorate it one other time, but I'm thinking, look, son, I'm the decorator of the house and it has to be done a special way. But those were memories that I had created with him. Uh, he loved doing that. So I, he knows that I do the decorating now. He may help me a little bit by bringing in the boxes. And if I say, can you put this outside, put it right here and I'll specify, you know, how I want it to be placed. And I may have him do that. And also what me and my husband and Aaron would do now, we love to do this every year. I mean, I get so excited to get in that car and drive around and look at the beautiful Christmas lights. There's this one neighborhood that we like to go to that's um, kind of near us, but not very far. They have the most beautiful neighborhoods lit up. I mean, every house almost is lit up with Christmas lights. It's like a beautiful Christmas lights extravaganza. It is beautiful. I mean, when you, when you drive up in there, it's almost like going to Disneyland. You know, all the excitement and everything, it's just so wonderful. 
and you know, hey, I can be a kid too. I can be just like a kid. I mean, I love to see the lights. You know, when we drive around and look at the lights, I mean, I feel happy. It makes you feel very special and, you know, especially with what's going on now, um, these past two years with this stuff going on, it's been kind of like bad. So just seeing Christmas lights and being around Christmas environment, family and love, it just makes you feel happy. It cheers you up. It brings joy to your heart. So that's what, you know, I think it's just so beautiful to do. And the last and final tradition that we like to do, and I don't know if it's gonna be the same this year. We normally go over to my mother's house uh, Christmas Eve and we exchange gifts. And sometimes, you know, if we wanna make something to eat or if she has something cooked, then we'll probably taste it. But that's pretty much it of what we do. And um, yeah, I love family traditions. They're very, very important to create, especially when your children are younger. So now I'm going to transition and let you see my beautiful tablescape. And I would like to thank Kimberly and Kenya once again for hosting and co-hosting this collaboration. Thank you, ladies. This is always a joy and fun participating. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're new here, welcome. If you have not yet joined the Jazzy Green Decor Style family at the end of the video, please go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Make sure your notification bell is on and turned on to all so that you won't miss any of my uploads. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy and thank you once again for watching.